Hey everybody, it's Dave. Now on the highway today, just a little red on another adventure. We headed down to South Carolina. We're gonna go to a couple of campgrounds for about a week. I might split my wood, figure I get one more good run in before the winter time comes and I start having to put all my meat and eggs and chickens and pigs and all that food up for the winter. And how times are you gotta sort of pack it away. Well, we're going down to Hunting Island, or Hunting Island if you're a regular person. It's a little place on the other side of Beaufort, South Carolina. Gotta go if you've been in the Marines, well, you know all about Beaufort, South Carolina. That's the home of Paris Island, or right off side of it right there. But this is on the other side, out on the coast of Atlantic Coast. So, if you're from North Carolina, it's Beaufort. That's a place in North Carolina called Beaufort. So, but we're headed to Beaufort. We're going to go tonight. Got a little head start. We ain't going to get in until tomorrow afternoon. So tonight, we're going to stop off at Gibbons Ferry. Now, that's another little state campground down there. It's a pretty nice little thing. It runs out of Stowe River. I had a bump. And uh, we're going to spend the night there. It costs 40 bucks. Get us a head start. We ain't got about an hour and 30 minutes, hour and a half or so, whatever, to run on out on the island. So that'll give us a uh, knocker driving time down, plus Saturday afternoon traffic ain't that bad, to be honest with you. Didn't want to mess on Sunday. Everybody wants to travel on Sunday anymore. I don't know. But now, the reason why I'm doing this video is, uh, I think Island's one of the more expensive state parks in South Carolina. There's, uh, North Myrtle, or Myrtle Beach State Park and Hunting, Huntington Beach State, whatever that one is. Now, it costs fifty seventy five dollars a night to camp. That's pretty expensive. I think this little hunting island here is about fifty five dollars a night. So we're gonna stay four nights. We're gonna come on back inland, and we're gonna stay at uh, Barnwell State Park. Now, Barnwell's a little bit small park. Ain't got about sixteen slots. Sort of small, and uh, it ain't about twenty five dollars a night. And that right there is affordable camping. I always said the red don't like spending no money. I like $25 a night for the weekend better than I do uh, $55 a night out on the coast. But the wife wants to go to the beach. I like the beach. It's that real uh, secluded area too. It ain't, ain't crowded. It ain't like the big fancy beaches. Uh, we're going to do some little videos. I'll show you the hunting island and then I'll show you the difference. Show you the difference in the prices. Don't hang loose. Come back here in a little bit. Get on the road and get situated. And I'll show you some of these state parks right here. All right? I'll see you later. Hey, everybody. We're back. I thought I'd run down here right here and show you a little something. This is uh, Givens Ferry State Park. It's a pretty cool little spot. This right here is a little sandy beach. If you look, that's the black water. That's the black water of the Edisto. The Edisto River. Uh, I actually saw a little alligator back in there a year or so back when I was here. But, uh, it ain't no clear mountain spring, stream, is it? It's early in the morning. I was out walking the dogs. See, you can... Got your little beachy area. Got a little retaining wall right here. Now, you can kick back right there. Set you a chair. The water's actually clean. It's just black. I don't know what the, what the deal is it with. This, the water's fine. But, uh... Sort of snaky looking over yonder. But, uh... That's the Edisto River. I've seen them water ski up and down on it in little John boats. I see all kinds of stuff. See, they'll go in and raft. They'll tie all the rafts together and they'll float down that thing. But that's the Edisto River right there. All right, I'll go back and show you campground here in just a minute. All right, I'll show you a little campground right here. Now, it's early in the morning and I ain't gonna roam all through the park talking and waking everybody up. But it's Gibbons Ferry State Park. Eh. It's a little ways off, about 11, 12 miles off I-26. It's the sister park to Carlton State Park, which is uh, off I-95, which is, I want to think, like 20 miles from here. So uh, it's a good park to pull off of if you're traveling. Spend the night and hit back on the road again. Now, that's the campground. All the, there's your dump station. You pull straight in, you go to the right. Ain't nothing but a loop. If you look straight through the trees there, that's a big fifth wheel. You can get them in about any one of the spots. They're all big, flat, somewhat level. Got one bathhouse over here to the right. Uh, 
it's sort of quiet about eight o'clock this morning like i said i'd show you the whole thing but if you can see that fifth wheel and the trees on the left right there that's pretty much will fit in any one of those parks all the way around uh it's a rafting place uh like i said you get in there and you float or you can just sit on the beach area down there ain't a whole lot to do but uh, to get away for a weekend or a day or two not a bad spot all right we'll move on to the next part i see hey, That's the beach. I'ma tell you, it ain't that far away. You'll scan to the right, other or left. That's all the campground slots. These two slots, two roads right there. The front row and the back road. That's all camping sites. Now, if you go into the palm trees, pine trees, whatever you wanna see, that's two more rows of it. Actually, I think it's three. But that's where, uh, like I say, all the campsites is. Come on with me. Let's walk down through here. Come on. Look at ice. Everybody needs some ice. You never know when you might need a frosty beverage. You hear them jets? I saw them all day long. That's the Marine Air Station up there in Buford. They got jets going all the time. But if you look through there, that's pretty cool, ain't it? I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a cool spot. Now it's rained all week. We took some shrimp and crab legs. We done that the other night. Well, this is the last night. And I about dropped my bag of ice. This is what you do when you're at the campground. Go get your bag of ice. But you look. Pants are a little close, but you got to keep in mind where you at. I showed you the video of what it's like out on the island, all on the beach and everything. Ain't nobody around. But look at that through yonder. There's slots all over the place. But you know what it really gets me? Is all these people down at gun pick places and they reserve them, but they don't come. I mean, this place is like booked out. But I've walked all through it. Here are my dogs. I walk with my dogs all every morning. And I see a bunch of empty slots. Now, it's like a Tuesday, Wednesday. And it blows my mind that the places that are open. If you don't come to Hunting Island, I ain't gonna lie to you. You probably wanna come during the week. Now the weekends may be outrageous, I don't know. I have no clue. I don't come to on the weekends. Everybody and a third cousin comes on weekends. So look this right here. That's the dump station. That's when you get ready to leave. It's pretty square, straight up, whatever you want to call it. But there's another one up there at the dumpsters. So there's actually two dump stations. But take a look out through yonder. That's pretty cool. Enough of palm trees. All kinds of stuff. Now I'm going to tell you, if you, uh, Wanna see some palm trees and lay on the beach? Well, oh, ain't nobody here. This is during the week. And we're down here in the end of August. It's pretty cool. I want to get close. Come on. I'll show you some stuff. Let's go around a little 
I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm about the youngest person down here. <laughs> a bunch of old folks down here. And it ain't that bad. But, uh, you do all kinds of things. I sat on the beach all day long today. It's a little nasty weather all week. Ain't been that big a deal. I ain't had a bad day. You know a bad day at the beach or raining ain't that bad. Come on now. I stayed out there one time. It ain't bad. Keep on coming. It's nice. It ain't bad. I walked in one of these trails. right there. Don't we'll cut through right there. That's for the back road. But ain't no palm trees, boy, deer, raccoon. There's all kinds of animals and everything else. There's your bath houses and stuff over there on the right. Campsite. We sit on the beach all day long. It's campsite. Uh, like I said, there's about three or four roads back in through yonder. It's pretty cool. Ain't nothing wrong with this. I know. South Carolina State Parks. It's a cool spot. I'm just a little red. We'll go on to our next one. I think we're going to Barnwell State Park. That's our next one. It ain't nothing like this. It's pretty cool. I see you later. That's my little. That's my young daughter right there. She gets all fired up. I see you later. This is Steve, just a little red. I hey, everybody. Steve, just a little red. We had a third park right here. Well, you know, we went to Givens Ferry. We stayed that one night. You know, I had the black water there to stow and canoeing and everything. It was a pretty cool park. We've been there before. We went down there to Hunting Island out on the beach and all that stuff out of Beaufort. That's a pretty cool part. We stayed there three or four days. Actually got my nose sunburnt and everything else. Well, now we've come back inland, about an hour and a half, two hours up here to Barnwell State Park. I ain't never stayed here before. This is a whole nother park right here. A little different. Not a very big park, but it's got some cool stuff. All right, well, this is our end site. If you walk down through here, and you look at all these down through the side there, it's full service. They got everything in the world. They got water, power, got your sewer, got it all on the right side. Now, if you sort of look over here in the middle, ain't nothing but a big old loop. That's the bathhouse. It's a little spooky at night, I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been in there. You know, I go, I use my facilities as I need to. You keep on going to lower spots, you get a decent sized camper in there. There's a big old uh, Class A sitting in that corner one right there, and it was pretty good. He didn't have a whole lot of problem getting in and out. We all circle on around. That's for smaller campers back over here. You can see it's a little tight, but now they're just firing water. They ain't got the sewer dump like these on the front up here. We lucky on snagging this one here. I ain't got to go by that old braided dump station. I'm going to clean out everything right here. Back in those woods, a little trail. Said there's a nine foot gator down there in a pond. Says it's about yeah, about the distance to the trail once you get on the trail out there. I may go over there in a minute and go snoop around and see if I can see old alligator man down there or whatever. We'll go look at him here in a little bit. It's a cool park. They got a horseshoe pit. They ain't got but one stop, but they got the horseshoes. <laughs> and they got that little ring toss. They got things to do. If you just want, if you also look, this is Saturday. There ain't nobody in the park now. It's so before Labor Day. Now, he said next week it's going to be packed in here pretty good. But uh, you want remote camping with y'all by yourself and you got some peace and quiet, this is the place to be right here. $25 a night. Man, you can't not kiss. Y'all hang loose. We'll do one more video before we close all this out. I'll see you later. All right. We're down here at this fishing pier. I'm going to tell you. It ain't one of the places I don't want to be at night out here fishing, I don't think. They said there's a gator in here. 
I don't know if they are or not. I ain't about to go in there. It did say they had swimming available here, seasonal. Well, I ain't swimming that water. Heck no. Sort of makes you want to think of that Camp Crystal Lake where that old Friday the 13th cat was living at. But uh, I don't tell you, this is a pretty cool spot. I'd say there'd be a fish in there. I'd say you'd catch something. I get eat one. I don't know. All right. I see. All right. We've been on the road for eight days now. All good things got to come to an end. We headed back home. Been on the road a couple hours today. I thought I'd close out my little video with you. We left out Sunday week ago. And uh, Saturday. Saturday. And uh, Coach Bob told me that. So, went to Gibbons Ferry State Park. Cool park, got the head of Stoke Water. Really like that. It's a nice place. I've been there a couple of times. Blackwater's a little spooky, but hey, a lot of things to do there. Campground pretty easy to get in and out of. Went to Hunting Island, Hunting Island, whatever you want to call it. I've been there a couple of times, and now that was a cool park too. Got the beach, everybody loves the beach. Got palm trees, fed a deer. I might show you that little video. Fed a deer, carriage. Every deer loves carriage, apparently. And uh, done a little shrimp bowl and crab legs and everything. Rained a lot. Now, rainy day at the beach ain't that bad. Stayed there till I run out of ice. When we left there, we went off up to Barnwell State Park in Barnwell County. That's a pretty good spot. About an hour and a half in. I liked it. Uh, sort of out in the middle of nowhere. It's a hard part to get to. Uh, you gotta want to get go to that area because it's, it's off the beaten path. But it's real cool. Great camp host. Love Ray. He was a cool guy. Wasn't about four or five campers in the whole park. You saw that in the video. Um, but it was relaxing. No pressure. Didn't have a whole lot of people running around. It get dark at night. Told you that bathhouse spooky. Had to go in there at night. And uh, but I liked it. I put it up there on a good check mark list. So that's three state parks. Now, like I said, fuel's out the roof. Ridiculous. You got to pay for fuel. Camper costs a little bit. Well, I'm going to have a truck. So you figure a camper ain't nothing like another little car payment. Ain't outrageous. You can finance them things like 200 years. Uh, so you get you a camper, a little truck, you start hitting these little state parks. $25 a night. Hey, you can go play for $25 a night. Now, firewood. Kick back, hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever. You don't have to be fancy when you go camping. Found that out. I always thought, man, I gotta have all this fancy stuff. Don't have to be fancy. Just get out and go, do simple stuff. Don't spend old golly wobble money. But if you go to these little parks, get yourself situated where you're comfortable. Then you go up to one of these fancy parks when you ain't got an extra dollar in your pocket. I hope you liked this video. I'm Steve. I'm just a little red. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I need all I can get. I'll see you on the next round. Be back on the mountain here in a couple of hours or so. And uh, we'll get ready for winter. I'll see you later. Y'all have a good one.